Hello and welcome to Daybreak. I'm Joe Young, Village Manager for Oxford, and with me I have Deb Uren, President of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce, and we're here this week to give you the latest update on the happenings going on in town and things you don't want to miss upcoming this great summer season that's upon us now. So, Deb, uh, glad to have you back again, and I know we've been a lot of things going on every yes. time. There's a lot happening and uh, going on. I know uh, we had a couple of events this past weekend. You want to share with us? Uh, Great. Wow. Yep. Uh, as always, the uh, the chamber has a mix and mingle, which we do once a month on the last Thursday of the month. And thanks to Sullivan's Public House, they were our hosts this time, and fantastic turnout. Um, our next one is going to be at the Ox um, the last Great. Thursday of the month, so we're looking forward to that one as well. We always have a, a number of people whether they're chamber members or not, and uh, great turnout, and everybody has a great time. Well, so it's a great place to meet people, and it sure is. Everyone's it sure welcome. Is. Come on down. Come on down. Yeah. Uh, we also had um, our second annual um, Oxford Chamber Challenge yeah. uh, run. It was a 5K walk and run, along with a 10K run. And go. once again this year, uh, Rope Pack is the one that did the timing for us. And they did a phenomenal job. We had medals that were awarded, and all of our racers uh, received a T-shirt, a window cling, and a gift bag. So that was always, you know, enjoyable to see, you know, handing those out and everything. But our sponsors, I just want to give one last uh, shout out to our sponsors mm -hmm. and a big, big thank you because they they really helped us out this year. Um, our our um, main sponsor was White House Village Shops. Our gold sponsor was Genesis Credit Union. Our silver sponsors, we had Body Engineer Fitness, Building Your Temple Fitness, Burdick Street Landscape, Cam Property Services, Carter Quality Hardwood Flooring, HealthQuest Physical Therapy and Medical Fitness, Lapeer County Bank and Trust, and Spartan Nutrition. Also, we had SitFit LLC. Our bronze sponsors were Simple Organics and Sam's Club. Sam's Club provided all of the water and the bananas, which our, our, our runners really, really enjoyed that. Great. Our t-shirts, if you, if you saw them, uh, they were provided by Shirts and Giggles and oh. definitely promoted by OCTV. So thank yeah. you, everybody. Right. Well, it was a great event. And while we're talking a minute about some of the sponsors, uh, White House Village Shops, which is in the south part of town now, got a lot of activity going on there. And this past week, they paved or repaved their parking and expanded it. So they now have 99 parking Whoa, spaces, which 99. might be the largest single parking area in the town. Uh, well, I guess maybe not next to Marketplace, come to think of it. But <laughs> at any rate, uh, White House Court, uh, White House uh, Village Shops uh, with Chuck Snyder, and he's got some new business there that will be open by the time this video as uh, air that includes the Ageless Day Spa. Yes, yes. With Jennifer Graves, uh, they've relocated uh, from south of town to the Village sh uh, White House shops, and then Spa on the Lake for like Orion's relocated there. Uh, I know he's got some other businesses. You mentioned uh, uh, Simple so, Organic. Yeah, Simple Organic. Yes, that's the one. They're going to yes. be moving into the house on the corner uh, at Crawford. They're that's going to be a bigger location out. for him, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. he's going to have more nicer, space in there, which is really... It be great to get that building uh, renovated and restored to his, his historic nature. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, we got the music shop at the on the end, and I know there's lots of shops in there. I think there's four uh, personal services shops in there between the spas and uh, hair uh, stylists, and yep. also, and then the healthcare, health food uh, uh, service of Simple Organics. So a lot of activity going on, and they they're looking to. Um, they got some uh, decoration out in their yards that are quite unique. They got an owl and some flowers that are made out of metal, and um, artists did those. And they're looking to spruce up the area. And then Chuck Snyder always does a great job down there. So we're excited um, for that new development in the south part of town and Absolutely. the businesses coming into town. So we've got uh, a couple other things. I know uh, HealthQuest. They just had their grand opening. They did. Wow, what a turnout that was. That was, that awesome. was so much fun. Very that new, was a lot of fun. They facility. they must have had, I bet, three 300 people there, if yeah. not more. It was and a cool, windy day. But. It was. <laughs> it, it was a little chilly, but we had the ribbon cutting. We did yeah. that outside, yeah. and uh, everybody just, you know, they, they were fine with yep. it. A little chilly, but uh, we yeah. all survived. 
Yep, and, and um, beautiful facility. Yep, oh my Dan goodness. Dan Geyer and his group there are awesome, and uh, they of course help with rehabilitation, but also keeping healthy. And uh, it's one of their focuses. Shift there now with Julie Perry and having activities uh, to help live, you know, live a longer life or more healthier life. Right. Without they you they have diet. Zumba classes, and oh, um, right. there was also yoga classes. Mm -hmm. So um, very, very affordable. I mean, you could have it on a, a monthly basis where you're, you're paying, uh -huh. and it, it's just very affordable and so many different activities right. that can take place there. So, right. One other uh, grand reopening we had, too, was that same day was the um, Rite Aid it, reopening, grand reopening, ah. where they restructured their uh, building and the layout. It's much more easier to see as you come in now, and they have different areas you might need. Uh, They've added 700 new items, they Whoa. told me. Um, so they got quite a selection of items in there. It's a great looking store. And they also have a health advisor on duty. So there's someone on the floor there that can help you, advise you on things as well as, of course, using the pharmacist. So they're trying to be more healthy and full service too. Um, so we got a lot of great things going on. Good a lot customer of things service. Here. Good in Oxford going service. on with keeping healthy with our 5K run and walk Yep. and the 10K run and other activities happening in town, of course, with our Polly and Trail. And now Scripter Beach is open as of Labor Day, I mean, it's a Memorial Day and it ends on Labor Day. Scripter Beach is open, so uh, it's a great uh, opportunity for everybody to take in uh, the enjoyment of uh, picnicking and enjoying the water. And doing some fishing, even if you wanted to, you could. Yeah, now that there. the weather is, is finally warm, Right. And yes. that's gonna make that's gonna make it very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So we got some other I know we have the coffee uh, gathering every second yep. or, sorry, the, first Tuesday. The first Tuesday of every month. month. So uh, for our Tuesday in June, that's going to be uh, that coffee connect is going to be from eight to nine o'clock and that's gonna be at H and R block, which is located in the market oh, marketplace. Okay. Uh, south of town right. and then um, July the first Tuesday in July is going to be right here at OCTV so okay. uh, both Wonderful. places are, are really great uh, and it would be nice to take a tour here of OCTV yes. that was that's always fun so um, yeah. we look forward to seeing you at um, H&R Block on Tuesday mm -hmm. eight, uh, June 2nd at, at mm -hmm. 8 o'clock right. okay yeah, and our cable studio here that we're shooting from, our Daybreak Show, is an awesome facility, and they have state of the art equipment, uh, just like they do on their, the, t the commercial TV stations. They have that type of equipment, and uh, they got great staff here, and they're always looking to help promote uh, things going on in the community and businesses. And you too could even create your own video uh, with the equipment and staff here. They could help you with that. So if you have any interest, give them a call or stop in. So it's our area, community area uh, cable services. So we got a great downtown. We're going to continue in just a few minutes on some other things going on in businesses and activities coming up and new developments happening. So we'll be right back. Thank you. Your local business. Your police department. Your local business. Your buildings of Oxford. The schools. Only on OC TV. Welcome back to Daybreak. Joe Young here with Debbie Wren, and we're just sharing with you some of the things going on in town this summer. And we got lots of activities happening uh, here now that we're into June. Uh, one of the first ones is the bike photo safari contest that's on the Pollyann Trail. That's Saturday, June 6th. Uh, hopefully you'll see this uh, show in time to make that. It's the first time uh, we've had this contest. It's sort of like a scavenger hunt uh, where you'd be listed uh, different things you're supposed to get, find pictures of that could be represent different locations or different ideas or themes. It's a family event too, so you can do it as a family item or uh, individual. It's $10 for an individual, 15 for a team or family. It's on Saturday, June 6th, starting at 8.15. Uh, and, and ends at noon or so with the awards. So it should be a great time. And uh, we had this poster put together. I mentioned last time about how the students at the high school had a competition. And it's a great uh, flyer here for this one time, first time event. So again, it's coming up. So lots going on with uh, the Pollyann Trail here with their chamber run and then now 
the, the bike for safari, uh, photo safari. Polyand Trail is very popular. Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> and then uh, that June 11th is our first concert in the park already. Oh, all and, right. Uh, that's every Thursday night. Uh, the main attraction starts at 7 p.m., goes mm -hmm. to 9, but at 6 o'clock you have a chance to be an open mic person. And uh, if you want to call uh, Matthew at the um, um, Oxford Music School of Music, the he'll schedule you in to have you perform and do your uh, singing or mu musical interact, uh, talent or be a comedian or whatever you might want to do. And I'm sure we have a lot of talent here in Knoxville. Oh, we do. Yeah, you we bet. sure do. You bet. Yep. So every Thursday starting uh, June 11th, it's uh, 7 o'clock is the regular show. And the first show is Brittany Adams and Highway 23, their country group. Um, then we've got the Safety Bricks, a, a local group here. And then on June 25th is the Lake Orion Baptist Church, their annual program. Wow. And July 2nd, we have the Lapeer Symphony Orchestra. And then uh, we got Tommy Steele Band. It's a big rock, uh, country rock band coming on July 9th. So, like I said, we got 12 different concerts coming up this summer. Uh, great family fun and uh, enjoyment downtown. Uh, and we're going to have great weather for that. Uh, of course, we got school's over now by, I'm sure, the time the show probably airs. So I'm sure everybody's excited about that, especially all you parents out there. <laughs> But it's uh, the summertime is here, and enjoy it while it's here because it goes quickly. Um, just remember this past uh, two winters, you'll remember, and hopefully yes. take more advantage of the summer that we have. Uh, we got Flag Day coming up June 14th. That's uh, a, a, a great event to honor our, our country. And then uh, we've got uh, the July you know, Fourth of July events on a Saturday this year, so uh, good time there. We got the Girlfriends Walk. I'm sorry, that's one I forgot about. Mm -hmm. That's coming up on a Wednesday, June 24th. That's it starts at 5:30, goes to 9. I know you've taken in those, right? Oh, um, absolutely. They are so much fun, and you, you know, so many of our businesses in town participate in this, and it yeah. always starts right at the gazebo. And you get a little map, and, and many of the businesses will give you a special discount, and you can go to all the different oh, stores. Yeah. And, you know, the town is just packed mm -hmm. with people. And yeah. everybody's having a, a great time, mm -hmm. and it just shows how lively we can really be and right. how, how warm and welcoming Oxford is. Right. I know Gen X Limousine runs a shuttle or limousine down to the White House Village shop. So and they are participating great. this year. Yeah. So that's a fun time to take uh, check out the other businesses and again mention all the activity going on with the White House, uh, White House Village. <laughs> sorry, um, businesses going on in the great downtown that night. Then coming up um, July uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th is the Seymour Lake celebration. It, uh, Parks and Rec puts that on. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Uh, they have a garage sale on Saturday that 10th. Can anybody participate uh, in that? Yeah, they're just going to sign up and be a vendor. Uh, I think there's a nominal charge, but it should be a great event for that. Of course, they have the carnival, which is awesome for everyone to it's enjoy. It's always fun. And get your cotton candy there and <laughs> enjoy your favorite rides. They have car show. We have um, the fireworks and uh, live music uh, groups playing great music going on and lots of activities going on. Uh, again, that's... Uh, July 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then we have our Lone Ranger Festival coming up. Oh, boy. Uh, on July 31st, that Friday night, the Oxford Tap, who was named Business of the Year by Main Street, Oakland County this past uh, week, is going to have outdoor uh, music stage with country and rock uh, music on Friday night and Saturday, mm -hmm. which Saturday is the Lone Ranger Festival. Yes, it on, is. Uh, August 1st. Uh, the event starts at 10 o'clock, and the parade's at 11 and then the um, activities in the park um, and downtown, so it's a great event. And you know, speaking of uh, the parade and the event, on the leader this past week, we had a front page story about the tall heads uh, that we rent from the Detroit Parade Company. Which is the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yep. And they're, they're, they took a tour down there of a number of different tall heads that um, are available. Right. 
and we already have sponsors for that but the parade itself is looking for more sponsors can you imagine walking around with a, a tall head that's probably about I don't know five feet tall mm -hmm. possibly right. and yep. you'll you can then sponsor this it's free to be in the parade Mm -hmm. So Correct. you can sponsor one of these tall heads. Yeah, Two hundred dollars, I believe. To, right, and you and need somebody to, of course, wear it and walk Some, down the street. Somebody with the will wear wear that tall head, but also be promoting your business. Right, uh, and then you'd need a spotter because trust me, yeah. uh, you can't see out of these things other than just straight ahead. No, I think you had some personal experience in being a Christmas tree for a parade, would, right? Yes, I was the Christmas tree last year. I had so much fun oh, doing right. that, but right. yes, you need a spotter yeah. because all you can see is just going forward nothing right. no peripheral vision whatsoever right, right. so we, great day that uh saturday uh, august 1st we're also going to have a uh, horseshoe uh competition and a chance to learn how to play horseshoes the northeast oakland historical society the museum uh, organization is putting on a horseshoe uh, tournament uh right there at mill street uh and east burdick street and it's only, uh, I think it's $5 to get, get in and individually, $10 for a team, and there will be prizes, it says, and it's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it'll be a great time to practice your pitching, so you might want to get out there and start practicing. Or if you don't know, you can come that day and learn what I was all about horseshoe pitching. So And registration, so, you can send in uh, your pre-registration to the Northeast Oakland Historical Society, 1 North mm -hmm. Washington. Oxford, Michigan, 48371. Right. Any any additional information that you may want, uh, get in touch with Ron Nelson at 248-459-0408. And Ron will be happy to talk right. with you. On our Lone Ranger Festival, we want to thank the sponsors of Genesis Credit Union and Oxford Bank. Uh, those are our major sponsors and several others. I know White House... Uh, Village Shops is going to be a sponsor. We've got Merrill Lynch, uh, Nicola and Saf, our insurance agent, uh, our attorney, our engineer. Uh, a lot of the businesses are helping um, participate and sponsor our event because it does put on money to put these activities on. Correct. Uh, Lisa Renault is our event coordinator, and she's um, got a meeting with the people involved to help make this a bigger and better event all the way around. And with more uh, crafts and vendors of interest and food entries and well and with the theme being a western theme you know right. we're trying to to keep everything in that in that theme and she's going to have what she's calling right. a trading post where our oh, vendors yes. are going to be so the vendors are going to be mixed as far as businesses and arts and crafts uh -huh. and, and food, food vendors right. Right. Um, there'll be Lone Ranger shirts that are going to be uh -huh. sold. Um, I understand there's going, even going to be some masks that are, are going to be available so that right. we keep that, that uh, theme of, of Lone right. Ranger. And uh, this year it's Brotherhood. Yeah, the theme is Brotherhood. Brotherhood. So, so it'll be a great event. Well, we're going to wrap up for this session. We'll be back just a couple of minutes to continue sharing with you what's happening in our village community. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Connie from Connie's Kitchen. And normally we'd be shooting from Treetop Lodge, but we're on location today at an alpaca farm. This is shearing season, and Matt and Katie, the alpaca barbers, have been in town for the last couple days, shearing all the animals. As you can see behind me, these girls are all ready for spring. A lot of people have been visiting the lodge for a luncheon and coming over here to the to the farm to see the animals and to purchase the fleece directly off the animals, 100% pure alpaca. So we've had a great, a lot of fun over at the lodge. We had lunch and we're feeding everybody breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And now we're over here and no, we're not planning on doing any cooking, any cooking here in the field. You know, we're just enjoying and visiting. And we've got a lot of stuff coming up at the lodge. So you want to catch us on OCTV and on YouTube and on Facebook. And you can even call me directly, 248-933-4579. Check out our wine dinners. We have a murder. We know we have a murder coming up in July. We actually have scheduled a murder. And a whole lot of other stuff, scrapbooking and spinning and weaving and, well, just about anything you can imagine we're doing at the lodge, so long as it's quiet and dignified. Well, I don't know about dignified, but quiet. So catch us uh, daily, I think, on OCTV. Catch us anytime on YouTube. And very soon, I will start a new series. We will start filming more shows from the lodge and from various locations like this. I can't bring a barbecue grill in here by the alpacas. That wouldn't be a good idea. But we'll do some outdoor cooking, too. 
So in the meantime, keep watching, let me know what you think, and watch for our new shows. Welcome back to Daybreak and our final session here with Joe Young and Debbie Oren, and we're sharing with you what's going on. And one thing we got is some uh, those who like to read and history and interest, we got some uh, book here that's coming out. We have a, a local author here, Catherine Ulrich Brakefield, uh, just finished a new book called Wilted Dandelions. She's going to be doing a uh, book signing mm -hmm. on Saturday, May 30th, from 1 to 4 at the Addison Library. Um, I haven't had the opportunity yet to read this, uh, but in just l reading the back and thumbing through it, this is going to be such an interesting read. I, I can't wait to take it home tonight. Um, but it has to do with the Oregon Trail. It, it, it's a very mm. historical uh, read and a very, from what I've heard, is a very, very simple, easy, informative, loving fast reading book hmm. so uh, oh, congratulations great. to Catherine I yes. believe this is her third book as wow. an author so great. very good very good yeah we have a lot of authors in uh, Oxford and uh, many of their books are carried by Great Lake Mercantile the Michigan store down yes. in Oxford uh, check that out I know Bob Bunning Robert Bunning has written books and his wife Jane Bunning has written several books uh, Howard um, Denzer, I think, is the name. Uh, he, he, Meiser, I think, is the name. He's got an author. So there's a lot of local authors, and they are carried in the, the Great Lake Mercantile yeah. store downtown. Well, and you know, I, I grew up in Rochester, and I worked oh. at uh, Lytle Pharmacy there. And Bob oh. Lytle, uh, I don't even know how many books Bob has written, but oh, I know wow. that his books are there uh, at oh. Michigan Mercantile. So oh. they, they keep everything that is Michigan only. That's mm -hmm. what the store is all right. about. So yep. uh, it's nice to promote. Our, our authors and yes, such. Yes, it is. It is. Well, we while we're downtown talking about Great Lake Mercantile uh, and business going, we got uh, the Oxford Tap. We mentioned about them uh, getting the Oakland County Main Street Business of the Year Award. And I previously told you about their expansion plans that they plan for this fall for expanding their kitchen and restroom area and then adding upstairs uh, outdoor um, patio on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So we're real excited about uh, what Mike's and Louie are looking to do there at the tap. Um, you may have noticed downtown too, the Ox, uh, Ox Bar and Grill has their outdoor cafe yes. out and um, those were hand built. Uh, they're metal with the wood planking on them. So very historic character and charm there. And uh, the, the uh, customers are very pleased with that and they've even asked to have it open all year round. <laughs> Uh, which would be cool. I mean, certainly some days that we can go out there, but I guess it's more of a European. That's what it is in Europe. It's They're so always nice out there. to be able to just sit so, outside and, you know, and, and just have your you know, meal or so, have a drink or, or right. a, a dessert. So you got to time it right when there's not so many trucks and traffic going by. <laughs> but there are quiet times downtown. And so it's great to see that. I know the tap has theirs out front now, and Lily's Diner, of course, mm -hmm. was one of the first yes. ones out. So we got a lot of outdoor dining uh, going on along with all our shopping downtown. So lots of good things going. And um, speaking of developments, uh, we got a couple of updates for you to share with you uh, regarding the DDA property. Uh, Dave Weckel has presented a concept plan to the DDA, possibility of building three buildings of a mixed use, which would be commercial office and residential, retail, I'm sorry, uh, as well, uh, and looking at what we could work out with development and that. So that's an exciting project. We also have uh, Chuck Snyder, the White Horse uh, Village Shops person, also has a pending purchase agreement to develop and build uh, 76 dwelling units. Oh One would be a three-story uh, condominium, 36 unit, and then there would be plan, concept plan is 40 single attached homes over by Scripter Park, that where Spearing Stool used to be where the skate park is currently uh, so we're looking forward to getting that development going as well so uh, you'll be able to have housing uh, downtown near downtown only a block wow. away uh, plus this new commercial development uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was that uh, the village offices did have an appraisal update uh, on our property where the, currently the police and village offices are we um, originally the appraisal was for a commercial use and uh, I was pointing out to the appraiser that the village property is owned multiple family. So we need to update the appraisal as a family, a residential use. And the appraisal came in at 450000 as opposed to the million dollars for commercial. 
and the parking lot was 110,000, which is the back parking lot off Hudson Street. So uh, we've got uh, those are still being discussed about how to proceed with that because uh, obviously if we were to develop the village property for residential, we'd have to find a new home for the village offices, and we're still negotiating, working on how to finance and financially make sense to do that. Um, and then downtown, of course, the Betts Hall got sold, is in the process of being sold by the township. Um, uh, the use hasn't been determined at this time, but uh, that's another great thing going on to get that property back active and involved. And the senior center is, of course, they have to find a new home. And they did come to the village and ask for assistance in locating them and perhaps at the village community room. Mm -hmm. Because they meet, uh, I think it's Wednesday and Fridays uh, with their bingo and other activities. And then there's a Euchre group, I think, that meets on Fridays. So they're looking for a home uh, with the, the Vets Hall for seniors. So we're looking to work that out. Wow. So lots of good things going on uh, in our community. Uh, one thing, too, I'm not sure what our timing is, by the way, Kyle. But uh, <laughs> well, the Village did just approve our budget uh, this past uh, week and uh, it's effective July 1 and mm -hmm. we're maintaining the tax rate as the current rate has been 10.62 so there's no tax increase. Uh, we're maintaining the level of services uh, with our police and DPW. Uh, we are looking to get a budget does call for a new police car and a new plow truck uh, and the possibility of maybe having radio read water meters uh, for the downtown and uh, Oxford Lakes estate. So wow. It'll be easier to give actual reads in the winter months when you can't get out there and read. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, that's another thing in the budget. Um, so lots of good things going on uh, our community, and uh, we are one thing uh, looking at. I mentioned the budget. We are looking at the possibility of charging for use of uh, the village parks and community room as a possibility. That'll be coming up at the next council meeting. Uh, along with uh, renewal of our insurance policy, and we're also bidding on our residential uh, rubbish collection. That'll be coming up soon because that contract expires at the end of August. Okay. So lots of good things happening. Um, How about yes. um, your DDA director? Oh yes, and then our we'll talk positions. also about yeah. our uh, chamber chamber director. Yes. Well, the recruiting for our DDA director is underway, and. Uh, Pete Schultz, our chairman, and said he's got a couple of applications already and that look good background for historic preservation, so we're excited about that. And they're hoping to fill the position by July 1, so hope that'll take place and get that moving. You know, the chamber, Deb, you're out recruiting yep. and advertising. Yep, we, we have already received um, at least 12 resumes Wonderful. for this position. Um, we put it in the Oxford Leader. I've talked about it before on um, on our daybreak, mm -hmm. and we have we received with these uh, resumes. They have really been very outstanding. So um, our committee is going to be getting together, and we're going to start um, interviews. Oh, um, hopefully, the first week in June. So those should be starting uh, any day now, and. Okay. Um, Looking forward to filling that position. It is going to be a part-time position, mm -hmm. um, but uh, things are still, you know, the office is open. Uh, you, you can get in touch with us by either the phone or um, by our uh, email address. And, right. it, you know, to fill that position, I'm looking forward to um, working with someone that is very willing to uh, be out in the community once again and, and meeting our businesses and talking with the community and so we're looking forward hopefully by yeah. July 1st as well so great new people new all faces right. all right we're gonna wrap it up here on our daybreak show and want to thank everyone for watching and uh, give us a call or stop in or check our website if you have any questions or information or ideas uh, things you'd like to see or change or improve we're always open to hear new ideas. You so, got it. And of course, we're here to serve the community, uh, business community, and residential community. We got a great community going uh, with our great place uh, services we have in a very safe community, a clean community, yes. and all kinds of business activity going on downtown. So come on down downtown and enjoy the summer here in our Oxford community. So for that, I'll close off. Deb, I'm going to say goodbye. and Thank you so much, Joe, and we'll see you next, next time, time on Daybreak. You got it. Thank you.